Hi, I'm John Krakauer, a reporter for the documentary Into the Wild, and I'm here today to get the varying opinions on Chris McCandless's life, journey, and death from those directly involved in his life, as well as those narcissistic personalities who had absolutely nothing to do with his life, but still feel as though their opinions hold some importance or validation, kind of like me. Dude, so like, I got one of those slinkies and I push it down the stairs, but it keeps freaking getting tangled up and I don't even like- <laughs> Sorry man, I thought I heard something. You're dumb! No man, you gotta be careful out here in these woods. That Chris McCandless fella, he was found in bus 142 dead, right off Stampede Trail. He survived out there 100, 112 days. He traveled 31 places, all the way from Annandale, Virginia, all the way up to Stampede Trail, Alaska, traveling at approximately 11,731 miles. He was eventually, eventually done by H. McKenzie, a poisonous plant of that region. What a coincidence. I mean, I'm doing interviews like surrounding his life and personal philosophy. What a coincidence. Could I ask you a few questions? Sure. So, what's your opinion on his, like, the events surrounding his death? He was dumb. He wasn't prepared enough. All right, uh, what do you think about his personal philosophy? That was dumb. All right, uh, what do you think about like his personal views on what it means to live an ethical life? That was very dumb. Like, why do you think it was dumb? It was dumb because he died. Could you be like a little more specific? He died because he was dumb. Alright, um, man, I mean, I'm, sh I'm like out of time, I gotta like go, so, catch right, you, later. you later. Yeah, I'll just, uh... Our next guest today is Anderson Cooper, a gentleman who wrote an article criticizing the life of Chris McCandless. So, Mr. Anderson. What's your opinion on the actions, life, and consequent death of Chris McCandless? I believe he was ignorant, he was unprepared, and he was ungrounded in pretty much everything he did in his life. So why do you believe this? I believe this because on all the adventures he went on, he never had enough gear, he never heeded the warnings of the locals, and that's about it. So, based on this, I assume you believe that Chris deserved the death he got? I wouldn't go as far as saying he deserved the death as it was, it was gonna happen anyway, because he would have just kept going and going until he got himself into a situation he couldn't handle. So, do you believe that he was justified in his disapproval of the materialistic society we live in today? Not at all. Without ambitious, materialistic entrepreneurs trying to get ahead in this world, we wouldn't have technological advances such as silly bands and slinkies. Fun for girls and boys. It's slinky, it's slinky, for fun it's a wonderful toy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. Here we have a resident of Oh My God Hot Springs, the newest community that Catalyst frequented in. Oh, sir. <laughs> Saw, dude. Did you, happen to, did you happen to know a young man by the name of Chris McCatalyst or Alex Supertramp as he came to be known? Mm, no. Alright, thank you, though. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um. Wait, I was, oh man, was, was he that guy who was always like, uh, he camped a couple miles out here and like, uh, he was always wearing clothes and stuff, you know, one of those types. Yep, it's him. Nah, nah, I don't know. Would you know him for $5? Mm, still a little hazy at that point, I think. I, I, th I think, oh man, for 10 bucks, I think, I think it'd be a lot more clear, you know. 
feel fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. It's making a lot more sense. Yeah, what are your opinions on his Odyssey? I mean, I don't know nothing about no Odyssey or anything, but I have a lot of those, you know, like, opinions on that, you know, big trip he has, you know? Please do go on. <sighs> you know, man, like, it, his journey was, it was like pure necessity, you know, like, it was, it was like self-discovery, you know, that, that whole thing. Why do you say that? Man, he, he was always following that philosophical of his, you know, like, just live off the land and, like, just only take what you need, you know, and stuff like that, man. Do you support this lifestyle? Yeah, man, like, pure freedom, you know? You know, it's like, it followed the, the ethics of basic human life. Like, basic, man. And what would those ethics be? I mean, you know, like, like you do you. You know, like, forget everybody else. Like, it's you against the world, man. You know, like, screw the government, man. Like, forget that. So do you, Chris's ethics or morals or that of bare necessity and that he shouldn't have any responsibility to anybody else. <laughs> yeah, pepperoni, pepperoni, man. All right, well, thank you for your time, sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. Last but not least, I'm going to interview Chris's sister, Karine, and ask her her opinion on his adventure and his philosophy. Crack hour. I'm making a documentary about your brother. <laughs> Would you mind if I ask you a few questions about him? Oh yes, come in, please. in general? Um, I mean, I agree with his philosophy of self-discovery, but I don't believe he should have let it take him to the grave. Alright. Do you, so you don't agree with his all-or-nothing philosophy? I, I just miss my brother so much. Let's cut to a commercial break. Slinkies, fun for girls and boys. It's Slinky, it's Slinky, for fun it's a wonderful toy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. Now that you've had time to compose yourself, what do you think it means to live an ethical life? Um, I think it means doing what you love within the confines of What's realistic? Well, I agree with you. Thank you for your time, ma'am. Yes. All right, that's all we have time for today. So, a quick thank you to our sponsors, Slinky, the toy for girls and boys. It's Slinky, it's Slinky, for fun it's a wonderful toy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. It's fun for a girl and a boy. And also, the Mr. Hominick Please give us an A, Foundation for Kids with Bad Grades in English. This is John Krakauer, signing off.